Hello everybody. Welcome to a new year and a new video. I have a actual blue box from Goodwill that I am going to be opening and showing you. I have um, raised my camera a little bit so that way you can see a kind of a, a wider view or maybe a higher view of what I've got. Um, I also have an impromptu little birthday giveaway, and I will stop in the middle of this video to um, show you the number, and then um, whoever has that number, um, I will either email or I will come on tomorrow's video and announce it so that they can email me and get their, um, their little giveaway shipped here in the next day or two. And I think everything's going very well. It's just been a nice, quiet day. Everybody I talk to or see on Facebook or wherever are resting and relaxing. So I think that's wonderful. So hopefully everyone um, is watching this video well and feeling great. And we shall go ahead. And like I said, this is up just a little bit higher. I will um, show you the box. This is the blue box. This is the size it is. And let me cut open these last two little edges here real quick. And let's see what we got. Have you guys measured yours? Uh, the one, the what jewelry resellers that I know, do you guys um, actually try to see if they're five pounds I don't even care I mean it's just like this is kind of a very iffy way to purchase anything fabulous but it's a nice respite from the you know older version of just um, having jewelry and showing it having jewelry and showing it this way it is a complete surprise, and um, I think a lot of the things that are in here are wearable, but I can sell them at a much lower price than some of the marked pieces, and, um, you know, surprise is fun. Um, we don't, you know, get a lot of fun nowadays, so I think I'll try to um, figure out some, some way to get... Uh, either a bag of jewelry or a box of jewelry, maybe once every week or two. Plus, I did decide to start doing purses, so I'm definitely jumping into that with both feet. Um, and we will probably do purses once a week or maybe twice a week, I'm not sure. We'll do maybe one, one, and then what didn't sell, we'll come back maybe on a Saturday afternoon and do another one. So don't forget the thumbs up. You guys know how important that is for everyone's channel, not just mine. Um, I'm um, on a backward spiral as far as subscribers. It kind of wows me out sometimes. I look at it. I was at 516. Now I'm back down again to 513. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, but I am trying to get um, to 1,000 someday. And... Um, so we'll just keep trudging ahead. It might take another couple of years. I don't know. We shall see. But if you guys can share my videos, I have shared my videos on my Facebook page. Unfortunately, YouTube is not very popular around the people I know here in my hometown. It is very popular in other places. So if you guys could share my video, just one of them you know, to your Facebook um, followers, or not followers, I'm sorry, to your Facebook friends. Um, Instagram, I'm having a horrible time on Instagram. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but my Instagram is actually Monique's Jewels one It's all one word, and my username or whatever you would call it is Monique's Jewels. So if you guys want to go there, I am going to start trying my best to post things there. So 
Um, I think as far as Instagram goes, I will post the um, Tiffany ring, the James Avery, and a couple other things. Um, and just show the pictures and say if you're interested, email me, blah, blah, blah. We'll go from there. Um, Instagram is very new to me. I've had an Instagram page for a minute, but I haven't used it. And so it's a bit different. So I'll be studying to start that and try to get it. I've already started it. Just try to get it going. Anyway, it's Monique's Jewels 1. And of course, my email is Monique's Jewels 2. So let's go ahead and get started. And I will stop just randomly in the middle of it and do the giveaway. And um, let's get busy on this five pound blue box. Alrighty, shop goodwill. Here we come. Okay, so here we go. Got the box. It's so tore up, you can't even read. I didn't even have to scratch out my name. It looks like somebody sat on it with a pork truck. Okay, I shall open it. Whoa. Not too bad, guys. Not too shabby. Almost tumped over my pop. That's why I said that. I do not want to do that. That would be disastrous. Okay. So I've got it over here to the side. Right there. I'm hoping it'll stay. Okay. All right. I'm going to push this back and pull out some stuff. Okay. That was loud. Okay. But regardless, it's still fun to do this. To, you know what I mean? To, to get something that you don't know anything about. Open it up and look for treasures. Trinkets and treasures. Okay, the first thing right off the bat is so cute. It's like a little medallion. Oh my goodness. It is a fossil. It's kind of that satiny silver finish. It's a fossil piece. And it is a medallion. Very, very pretty. It's got three different areas that you can clasp it. So let me make it the biggest. So at least I know we got one pretty nice piece. This does have a little wear on the tap, little fossil mark. Tassel there. We've got a little glass bead and then this isn't that sweet this you know the silver tone is not bad not at all look at the beautiful designs can you see it let me show it to you close this is right at 17 inches let's put it in this there we go isn't that pretty stop moving that's gorgeous. Okay, so let's put $5 on the fossil. Very nice. And let's see. What have I got coming out of here? Yeah, you always hope for some sterling or some gold, but you know what? It's all right. It is quite all right. This is pretty. I don't see anything wrong with this either. Oh, man. Look, I have on those screw backs. On it. I mean, yeah. And it's gone. Wow, that's too bad. Well, this could definitely be worn anyway. Look at the pine cones. Oh, my God, this is gorgeous. So, we know it's an older piece. It's in fabulous shape. Um, that, I don't think the other, you know what, the other side could be in this box. If not, I will fix it. I will definitely find a very nice class. We don't want silver, we want gold. But I will find one. So, this is gorgeous. 
This is in fabulous shape for the age of this piece. Look at the pine cones. So I'm going to put six on this and it will be fixed with a nice gold lobster. And we'll put six on it. It's super long. This looks like it's about mm, 32, I would say. Hold on here. I'm losing it. So there's... Yep, about 32 inches. And these look great. Not something. All these look fabulous. They've got the little dangles hanging off. Wow, this is very pretty. Kind of set that over there. Um, I'll just be careful and try to see if I can't find that other screw back. This one is pretty also, but it is missing. <laughs> This is Claire's, isn't it? Yeah. It's just a little silver tone. Pretty little um, faux pearls, though. It is missing the clasp. Of course, I have a clasp that I just had. Where'd it go? Hmm. Anyway. If anybody's interested in this for $3, I will fix it with that silver cl tone clasp I just had. Right here. See? It's a nice one. So I'll fix that for three because that's kind of cute. And it is approximately... Hmm, about 15 inches. For three. Okay. Let's see. This is All Things Are Possible. It's a wrap, and you've got a camera. Let me see what this says. This is cool. There it is. It says. There's a key. Yeah, there's keys. This must be fossil also. So you have sunglasses, weights, and a camera. Let's see what this says. No, it's got another key. It's right there. Hmm, let's see what this says. It's a key. All things are possible. So, see, this has got a key right there, too. There are keys on the back of the markings. So, this is a wrapper. This is cute. It is so new, I can't even wrap it. But I'll wrap it around my fingers here. I'll show it to me. Okay, so, it wraps around. Just like that. And it is a beautiful... Like it's gold tone kind of on that side, but this is like a matte gray. This is really pretty. So it would be, that would be the front right here. And it would go around one and two and come back to be here. So that would be your bracelet. Just like that. So I'm going to put four on that. That is really cute. Okay, we have some, I think these are called swallows. Swallows, I think. This is AEO. Here we go with that again, remember? I've had some beautiful pieces from them lately. Okay, let's close this real quick. Okay. This is really pretty. It's a nice kind of a smaller Figaro, a silver tone chain, silver tone birds. Put the AEO mark right here. Whoops. It's right there. So this is approximately. 
right about 17 inches with an extender. It's really cute. And it just needs a little wipe down, I think, and it should be fine. Um, let's put four on the birds. They are for the birds. No, they're pretty. Let's see. That's what they look like. They're really cute. So we'll put four on that AEO. This is leather, but it's going into crafties. It's all icky. No, it's not icky. It's just broke. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. This is pretty. It's a real nice gold tone. This is Trafari. Well, that's amazing. So we've got Trafari trademark right there. Not crown, just regular. We have that, um, kind of that, um, it's like a Singapore. Look at these, these are so pretty. And they go down, it's just beautiful. Can you guys see it from there? So it's got the um, pieces, the pieces. The beads here that hold those rings on. Just gorgeous. Look at that gold tone. You can see it. That's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so this one's long. This is 12. We've got 13, 14. So this is right at 30 inches. And it looks like it was made today. So I'll put six on this one. Very nice. Very, very pretty. Yeah, I'm not hating on this too bad. Okay, this one has some beautiful colors. These are jewel colors. I'm making sure everything is there. Yep, and the green. That looks great, guys. Not quite, hold on here. Looks, oh, okay, that's gone. Okay, a little piece of red there, red dirt, red plastic. Yeah, that looks very nice. So I'm put it on my arm. That's how it kind of sets, that's the back. Oh, this is pretty. Isn't that nice? Okay, let me give you a measurement here. Since it does have the wire inside of it, it's wire, it's not plastic. It's gonna open up and be a nice size. Oh, this is cool the way it's made. Very nice. Okay, so the cone of shame is going to say it's from about a six and three quarters, probably to about a seven and a half. It's not super big because it fits really well on my wrist there. You know what I mean? And it's got a lot of um, flexibility, but it's um, very well made. So I'm going to put six on that one. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, we've got a pretty bracelet. What is this? You guys, this is Premier Design. Look at that. Isn't that cool? This is not a bad box. I'm very, very happy. Okay, this has the etched rings textured with the... Um, The toggle here, it's just beautiful. You have faux pearls. You have the rings. Very Brighton-esque looking. This is made long before Brighton, most likely. Okay, let's see here. It is 
It's long, guys. This is nine inches. Let me see how big it is. Oh, yeah, this is a nice one. But you know what? I think they're thinking this has got a double ring. So, let's see. The smallest ring would be... This is beautiful. This is between 8 inches and 9 inches. This is a beautiful piece. Long, nice and sturdy, well-made premier design, and I'm going to put 10 on it. It's just gorgeous. Okay, let me set that over here. Yeah, that's in fabulous shape. Okay, we've got another one that's going to have to go into the craft lot. I'll show it to you, of course. But it's bent, and it's got all kinds of stuff coming in. Okay. Let's put that down here. Ooh, we have an Alex and Ami. It's in great shape. This is um, Take the Wheel. That's what it's called. It's really cute. Still got his tag on. The tag was $28. It's the gold tone. Let's take the wheel. There's the wheel and the tag. So let's put six on this. This is in great shape. Yeah, this would be a nice gift for someone. It's in beautiful condition. And of course it says made in and all that good stuff. Very pretty. Okay, lovely. It's a nice piece. Okay, here's a beauty. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I think this might be a little older piece. Goodness gracious. Is there a maker mark on this? This is beautiful, guys. It is a silver tone. Beautiful silver tone at that. Very heavy. Um, I mean, not heavy, but very heavy construction. Very nice. Um, I thought this would be premier design. There is not a mark on this. Look at this beauty. Man, this is pretty. Now, this is spectacular. It's a no-namer, as far as I can tell, but it's fabulous. Let's see what it looks like on the blue real quick here. go. That's a beautiful piece. It is approximately right at 20 inches with about an inch extender, inch and a half. So let's put 10 on this. I think someone would really enjoy this piece. This is in great shape. Just needs a little wipe down. It's a beauty. It's a great, great box so far, guys. Look, we've got earrings to match that Trafari. Wow. I see one. I don't know if there's another one or not. Let's keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, we've got another nice bracelet. Necklace, I mean. Ooh, it's a long one. Got something attached to it there. This is pretty. There's no no marker, no maker mark, but it's it's really pretty. I'm gonna double it. It's got kind of a filigree ball and then a solid bead here. These are in great shape. Maybe this is my birthday present to get this nice box. 
Yeah, these are in fabulous shape. Okay, doubled it is right at, so this would be uh, 48 inches plus, maybe an inch or two, right at about 50 inches. This is gorgeous. So, this is cool. I didn't even say anything about it, but it's got uh, different kinds of chains that, that kind of change as it goes up. Really cool. So I'm gonna put six on this one, and it is a darker gunmetal, kind of an antiqued, not black, but a darker kind of a charcoal Color. Okay, we have this one here, and it is another fossil. Hmm. Okay, I'll show you the fossil mark. Just a little bit of wear, not much, which is really good because these are not sterling. So, of course, you're going to have some wear. It is a, what is this? Oh, it's got some wear to it. Oh, that's too bad, but that's okay. I will put this in um, the wares on the earth. I mean, the tree of life. But I will put this into the crafting lot, but that's okay. Wired whimsy, I have no idea, $25. Hmm, I wonder what that was. Wired Whimsy. Okay, we've got two small. Oh, no, this is a big long one. Is this it? No. Huh. This is different. Does it move? Hold on here. Nope. I have no idea. Hmm. Okay, I don't know what this is about. <laughs> it's got a pretty little stone on it. But I don't understand why it's up here. It's up here by the clasp. Um... Yeah, I don't know. So this will go into crafting. It's pretty though. Not, you know, it's still not bad. Okay, these are called World Market. I don't know if those are, let's see. I think those have some wear. I think they should have been like light silver. So we'll put those over there into crafts. Let's see what these are. It doesn't say, it says something PLG who? PLG. PLG. Come on, open up. I get mad at these sometimes and just cut them. Come on, baby. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, these are pretty. Oh my God. There's no mark that I can see, but they are the moon. They are the moon. The moon, it's Mr. Moon, and they are beautiful. And look at the, the way the hooks are. <gasps> so I'm gonna put seven on the Mr. Moon. They're not sterling or anything, but boy, they are in fabulous shape. Front, back. Isn't that cool? Let me set those there. Those are gorgeous. Kind of like a faux opal. Yeah. Let's 
so let me grab some more stuff. Oh my goodness. We are at 30 minutes, so guess what that means? Yay! We're going to do the giveaway. And whoever has the closest to the number without going over will be the winner. And I will show you the number, and then I'll go through and see who I think the winner is. Okay? Let's see. I saved it as a screenshot. The number. Drum roll, please. Do 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 do. And it was saved Saturday, January first at six eleven. Drum roll. That is the number twenty two. Woo! Okay, now I'm going to go to the video. And we are going to see who came the closest to 22. Let's see here. I'm not even on the right video. Here we are. Okay. So we have 40 comments. So Christina has 19. Okay. I'm going to call out numbers, not names. Christine's the closest right now. Christine has 19. Christina. Okay. Number 28. Number 7. Number 24. 72. 17. 62. 48. 37. 70. 73, 48, you guys are doing the same numbers, but that's okay. 74, 49, 53, number one, <laughs> 59, 68. So, I hope I got everybody's comments. As far as I can tell, Christine is the closest. Let me go up here to, you know, sometimes I don't get all my comments. So I'm going to go to these comment, my notifications, and see if I missed anybody. Sometimes I'll get them in my notifications, but they won't be on the thing. Isn't that awful? So we have, let's see if she did hers, no, let's see here. Hmm. I didn't see it. Okay, so Christine is ahead. <laughs> 70, 53, 57. I do believe, 68. Okay, Christina, email me and I will um, let you know that I'll be sending you something here very soon, the next couple days. All right. Thank you so much, guys. The winner, and I love you all. The winner of my little birthday giveaway is Christina. Okay? All right. Let's keep going here. All right, we've got a stretchy that can go to, um, yeah, that can go to the thing or duber, you know. The, oh, the um, uh. craft lot. Sorry. Okay, we got a tiny tangle. Oh, this is kind of pretty. Huh. I like this. Okay, this is a little dainty one. It's kind of a gunmetal silver tone. And it's a Y necklace. Let me show you on the white here. 
it is kind of a light blue. There must have been something in this box, a little red dot. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Light blue Y with the really pretty silver tone. I love the uh, chain, the way it is. The circle, and yeah, they're connected on each end of the little lines here. There is no maker mark on this, but it's very pretty. And it is spring ring. They do not say anything on that tag. That always bugs me. I be I'm like, mm, mark your stuff. So nice to know. And these have little etchings on each of these little lines there. Okay, so let me give you a measurement on this one. It's so pretty. It is right at, it's almost 16 inches, guys. And then your little tassel that hangs down will be, let's see, almost two inches, not quite. So for this pretty guy, girl, little thing, I will put $4. It's beautiful. Okay. And we got a baggie. I wonder what that means. We got the baggie. Well, I'm glad they did that because this would have been a hot, stinking mess. Okay, this is pretty. Move you over a bit. This is 1946. And this is very pretty. It is a beautiful rose gold multi strand, which means one. Let's see how many. One, two, three, four. I think there's eight strands. They are gorgeous. This is on the extender. Let's shorten it up a bit. This is really, really pretty. Oh, I'm really happy with this. Ah, it's a first. It's a first. Yeah, this is gorgeous. This would go with, oh my goodness, any color. That's why you need to have rose gold and gold accessories to go with stuff like this oh, this is beautiful look at the different chains so on the chains you have um, a really light little rollo flat rollo and then you have those are the flat rollos then you have the bigger kind of a rollo yeah those are beautiful so this is what it looks like it feels like butter it's very soft it has um, little gold tone balls there, beads, little beaded, and then little clear beads with kind of an AV coating on it. It's just gorgeous. 1946. So I will put 12 on this one. It is rose gold and it is absolutely beautiful. I wish I had something to go with it, like a ro some rose gold earrings. That would be fabulous. Okay, I'm pulling this out of the mix. This has the tiniest little... You know what? This is really, really pretty, but it is on such a short chain. Let me see some. I found an extender there, but I also think this is longer. Yeah, this is much longer. Let's do this. Um, this little starfish is gorgeous. The chain that's on it is probably not even 15 inches or not even 13 inches. So let me change this out if I can. Um, I don't know if this came with this chain or not. It's hard to tell. I'll be able to tell. Oh, let's see here. Come on out of there. Um, of course, that little ball is not going to come through there. Hold on here. Hold your horses. Okay. Let me 
and just cut it off right there. Because I have an extra extender so I can still use this. There we go. Okay, we'll put this over to the side. I'll move that here in just a second. Okay, so we're going to put this really pretty chain on here. The back really doesn't show much wear. So here this is. Nice long chain on it. Isn't that pretty? My goodness, that is really nice. It's just gorgeous. Okay, the chain itself now is closer to 22 inches. If I remember right, might be a little bit longer. Hold on here. Let's see. Yeah, it's longer. It's about 30 inches. Very, very nice. So let's put six on this. I like it. Looks good. Move this out of the way for something different. Um, you just never know. I just keep so much because I'm thinking, you know, I can use it and then it ends up I can. Okay, what's going on here? This looks like something I've seen in the past. Okay. I have no idea. Okay, here we go with that one necklace. It looks like it has a another strand. Look, oh my goodness. Okay, this thing is fabulous. I wonder, you know, I see a broken, um, let me see. Does this go, because I can fix this baby. I wonder if this come. No, they both got the same. They both got that. I don't know. Maybe there's two of the same. Well, here's some more. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. This is different. Okay. This is marked. It's a marked piece. This has. Okay, there's one right here. It looks like it's in fabulous shape. It is a 1928. 1928. Come on. Right there. Of course, every time I try to do that, it's on the wrong side. Uh, 1928 and this is the finished product so there's one and it has this NP M1 piece so this one I'll go ahead and sell let's put um, let's make sure it's in good shape here let's sell this one for 10 it looks like it's in great condition. Okay. These two I will work on because I see now that there was actually three of them. Don't know if I've got the parts and pieces or not, but that's okay. At least I've got something to fiddle with. Give me something to do. Okay. Got a bit of a tangle. Okay, what is this? Okay, this is a little older, I think. Mm, it's different. This has a really worn piece through here. So I'm going to put this in crafts, but I just wanted you to see it. I like those beads. It's kind of cool. It's just a little too worn here to sell. Okay. It just feels grimy. Oh, this is cute. Huh. Okay, this has got a beautiful medallion. 
hanging off of it or large charm and there are just some ladies it's like a faded you know it's trying to look antique like a faded motif on there and then you have these plastic uh, resin be large beads here kind of mosaic mimicking probably um, agate then you have this pretty um, satin finish gold tone then we have what looks like I don't know what that is feels like stone it's probably wood and then we have these other plasticky resiny beads that are faceted and then this beauty is also a resin faceted bead very pretty yeah i like this this is cool And it's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit bigger. Um, I do believe that this one, yeah, it's probably seven and a half. But look how pretty it looks on the, isn't that cool? So I'm gonna put six on that one. Even though it's a stretchy, it has a lot of character. Okay, next, oh, we have a beautiful, these are so pretty. Um, let's put three on this one. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Okay, next. Huh. I looked at this, I was like, where's the inside of it? It's right there. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it's just a little costume piece, but it's just cute. It's got a little spring ring. I can't believe all these rhinestones are there. That's amazing. So you've got rhinestones on this little rounder. Little round pendant. Light blue. And this pretty little kind of a Singapore chain. It is not sterling. But it's very cute and very silver tone. Very nice color to it. So you can see the spring ring there. Yeah, it's in good shape. It is approximately 16 and a half, almost 17 inches. It's nice. I'm trying to see if that's light. This is a almost a white, and this is more of a blue. That's kind of cool little circles that little pendant is like blue and then this side is crystal clear so let's put four on this one it's cute yeah I really like this one this one's nice and we have the little blue stretchy I'm gonna put it in crafts I've got a couple of these over there in that box um, See here, nickel free twelve ninety nine. Mm. They're not too bad. I just put three on these, and they're hooks, little hooks, and you've got kind of a pretty little silvery pink. So pearl here and the of course the mother of pearl shell so we'll put three on those those are about an inch pretty nice really that over there that one's cute what in the world oh Hmm. We've got the tangle, just a huge tangle. Okay, this is oh, this is cute. Holy moly, I like this. Okay, I'm gonna show you this real quick. Let me see. Let me see. Oh yeah, they all do that. Okay. 
This is cute. It's probably broken. Poo, it's broke. But isn't that pretty? I'm going to try to do something with it. This came off right here. Right here. So, I get to work on it. But look, it is so cute. Because I could keep all of this together. Um, unattach those. Redo them. Attach them back and make another necklace. But gosh, that's cute. Sorry it's broke. I'm going to set that over to the side. I like that. Now here we go with another very nice little medallion. Very lightweight. Has a little druzy. Probably a faux druzy. That is almost Wizard of oz <laughs> I like that. And then the chain is very shiny and pretty. The chain looks to be about 36 inches. Nice lobster on it. So let's put four on this guy. He's cute. There's the back. My phone is blowing up. Sorry, guys. Oh, it's another fossil. It's got to be. Well, it doesn't have a mark on it. Hmm. What is wrong with my phone? Let's see. Hold on, guys. Oh, it's just a happy birthday belated. Yeah, I do believe this is fossil. We have the swallow here. <laughs> I got a sneak. <coughs> Excuse me. I have the swallow and the key. And a kind of a gunmetal type of um, silver tone. Very pretty. <laughs> oh, gosh. I got to sneeze again. No, I don't. That was weird. Okay, so it is approximately 16 inches. Fossil. Beautiful little piece. Gorgeous little swallow. And let's put five on him. Him is cute. Now I'm scared I'm going to break everything I touch. Okay, here's... Oh, this is pretty. You guys, this has been fun. I'm not going to get all the way through it, I don't think. Almost. Maybe. Maybe I can. Let's see. Sometimes when people um, contact me, I think something is wrong. Something has happened. or Yeah. When I haven't heard from them in a while, you know. Friends of mine. Is this another one? This is another AEO, guys, but it has a broken chain. So, the medallion on it is fabulous. Yeah, see the chain is broke right here. <laughs> but, you know, I can fix it. Oh, goodness. I'll find another one. But see, it's got that pretty little design there. But look at this. It does have a tiny bit of wear, but this medallion is fabulous. It's really cool. So I'm not going to throw this out. I'm going to put it over here and try to fix it. If anybody's interested in it, let me know. It's pretty. Okay. There we go. Let's see. a turtle oh how cute this is another aeo i don't believe it it's a little tiny turtle look at that mother pearl turtle and it's on this icky stuff but it is too cute and he can definitely put on be put on a silver tone chain <laughs> or even a sterling chain because he is darling Let's just see him up close. 
He's got like a textured back. Yeah, he's really pretty. There you go. So I'll put four on him. Maybe I can even change him out for you. <laughs> okay, this is pretty. Let's see if I can get it untangled because it sure is pretty. You hear it? Sounds good, doesn't it? Oh, there's two. That was funny. <laughs> well, you just never know. Okay, this is very pretty. This is a quadruple strand, black beads. Very nice. It's got a very nice um, hook on it. And it can um, extend all the way out. Look at those beads. Glass beads, seed beads, and um, a little bigger beads. Okay, at the smallest, I will give you a measurement here, but it, it, it's got about a two inch extender. <laughs> Sorry. So it's about 14 inches there, but it can go 15, probably 16. Very, very pretty. Not pretty. Let's get that out for a bit. Very, very pretty. That over there. These are kind of... So let's put five on this one. It's very pretty. It feels, it feels like butter. It feels great. Okay. Set that there. This one's pretty. This one's like little glass faceted beads and little seed beads. It's perfect to double. Not pretty. And it's about 24, 26, 28 inches. I mean, 28 times 2, which is 16, 56, 56 inches. Very nice. So we'll put four on that one. Very basic and nice. Let's see. I haven't seen anything super precious metal or anything yet. Um, this is pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. Let's see if all the stones are there. Yeah, I think they are. <laughs> okay. We have a little rhinestone necklace. Yes, I think they're all there. Yay! And this is, let's do it this way. We are right at, start there. There's 12. And then, it can be up to 16 inches, maybe 15. I'll show it to you here. It looks in very good condition. The rhinestone's there. It kind of stops. Part of it stops right here and here. All the rhinestones. And then it, but it goes all the way down. So this could be 14, 15, 16 inches, whatever you would like it. It's very pretty. So I think we should put, let's put four on that. Very cute. Very pretty. Very, very shiny. Okay. What time is it? Yeah, it's almost an hour. Hmm. I wish I could just fly through these, but I just don't feel comfortable not measuring and, you know. So many people can't wear certain things because they're just too short or too long or, you know, so I don't feel good when I don't measure anything. Um, this is tangled. Take on it. 
There we go. Okay, we've got just a little Y necklace. Very cute. Let's see if the silver tone looks good. Yeah, it does. Hmm. So we've got this one, and I think this one is very similar. Maybe I can put these two together and sell them as a pair. These are cute. Hmm. Oh, this is asymmetrical. This is cute. No, it's not. Look, it's like this. Wow, I like these. I don't see a maker mark on them, though. Oh, I see. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Ta da! Okay, so we've got this one, and it's got the three chains that dangle. Very pretty. It's got like a Figaro and two little tiny Rolos here. Look at these. These are cute flowers with the same style. Um, I don't see a maker mark. This is very long. So is this one. This has that little dangle there. So I think I will put these two together. They're both almost exactly the same length. And, which is about 32 inches. They're in excellent shape. They have excellent silver tone on them. So for these two, let's do $8. So four dollars a piece, but eight dollars because I want to ship them both the same, same home. It's like I'm selling animals. I don't have a clue. I think this was homemade. It's kind of cool. I don't know. I like the chain on it. The chain on it's pretty. It's kind of coming apart. So I think we'll put this in crafts. <laughs> Set that over there. Okay, this one is in good shape, I do believe. I think. It, yeah, seems to be. And it is just this little ring. Now, this is a little, mm -mm, that's a little dark. Let's just put that into crafts. I don't like selling anything that's not perfect, guys, as you well know. This, I don't know. This looks like an anklet. See? It's big, but it's not big enough for a necklace. Whew. My craft. That one looks gold, but it's really silver. So I'll put that, up, and it's got a hair on it, over there. Okay, here's a little neck bracelet. This is cute. It's got a toggle. It's like that antique gold tone. And it's, oh, this is kind of pretty. And it's got that little, it almost looks like a sunrise. Like a resin with enamel inside of it. I like it. It's cool. Very pretty. Let me give you a size on it real quick. It is approximately about six and three quarters inches, and we will put three dollars. It's very pretty. Okay. Let's see about this real quick. Oh, that's cute. It's like that uh, popcorn chain almost. Let's see what this says. This says something. That doesn't tell me nothing. Okay. All it says is China. 
is popcorn with just the little black dots, and it is really cute. And this is an anklet, because it's like, no, let's see. Yeah, it's an anklet. It's about 10, in, 10 inches, and it's not sterling. So we'll just put $3 on it. It's really cute, though. Can you see the design? Popcorn. It's really dot dash. It's not popcorn. It's a little dot dash with the little black beads. Kind of cute. I just don't want to sell them for much because, you know, they're going to fade since they're not sterling. Well, here's a cute little Y necklace. I don't think there's much wrong with it. This is pretty. Okay. Aww. Why is it not doing what it's supposed to be doing? Why is it backwards? There we go. Oh, I think it just needs a little talking to. Straighten up, dude. Okay, this is pretty. It is approximately, let's see, 15 inches with a drop. That is, let's see, one, two, about five inch drop. Yeah, this is pretty. It's not precious metal or anything, but boy, is it cute. So we'll put $4 on this one. I like it. Yeah, you just kind of have to twist it when you get it on. Okay, get off of there. That's nothing. Okay, we got seed beads, and they're kind of pretty. Just making sure... You know, this is a little bit worn, but the beads are gorgeous on it. So it's a little worn, not much. So I'm going to put three on it because the beads are gorgeous. And it is right at, let's see, 15 inches. So it's wearable. If you wipe that down real good, it would be fine. If not, you've got some beautiful beads. Look at those. These are like frosted seed beads. Yeah, this is really pretty. Okay, so we'll put three on that. This looks like it's got um, some problems, but it's cute. It's got like artisan glass. So I'll put that over with my little pile. To work on. I could feel a I can feel a wire sticking out. This is pretty. I'll see here if it's gonna make a mark. No. We've got a stretchy, but it is very nice. It's light purple and gold tone. And it looks almost I don't know, it looks kind of holiday. Very, very nice. Very nice stretch on it. It is saying it's about seven and a quarter. I'll put it all the way on mine. Very pretty. So let's do four on that one. It's cute. Very, very cute. Okay, let's pull the rest out. We're almost done. I think we should just finish up. Don't you? Yeah. And some of these are like not even showable. Hmm. That's cool. That is a button. <laughs> if anybody collects buttons, just let me know. We've got a button here. Mother of pearl buttons, they're expensive. Two little ones. This one here is cute. So these mother of pearl buttons are worth a little money. So I will put three dollars on this. If nobody wants it, I will probably work on it. Okay, put those there. Um, these will not even be worried with. That is going into sorry. 
I'll show it to you, but it's icky. That's going into crafts. Um, oh, this is pretty. Let me check the faux pearls. It's got some rondelles that are a greenish color. This is a cute little costume piece. It has a spring ring on it. Let's get a measurement real quick. Looks nice. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It is approximately 18 inches, and we'll put $3 on that one. Oh, we have another Alex and Ani. Yeah, this makes me want to scream. <sighs> okay, this Alex and Ani has best. It's a little half of a best friends, but it is cute. It's in great shape. So, the silver tone is pretty nice. It does have a little wonky right there. I think it was shorter. Yeah. So, let's put three on the Alex and Ani since it does have a little wear. When I was young, I used to love these. This has the rondelles that are very large. Um, these are glass beads. These are beautiful green, big I don't know how many millimeter, eight, ten, I don't know, six and a half inches. I put it on and show it to you. It's got a nice stretch. Some of these look a little dark. They might have one or two, you know, one missing or something, but this is gorgeous. Um, I'm going to sell it mainly for the beads, so I'll put $3 on it. Listen to them. You can tell that they're good quality beads. Beautiful green, just beautiful. Okay, this thing is gorgeous. I don't know why it's so small. I might have to work on this. This thing is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Look at those beads. Okay, these are artisan glass beads with some um, very pretty silver beads here. You have the green tube. Then you've got the flower, uh, the rose inside. And then you've got this, looks like a piece of candy. And this little gumball looking thing with design. It's, it's scalloped in that. This is so pretty. Wow. Look at the silver in that one. Yeah, this thing is so cool. I'm not sure how tiny this is. Um, I do not believe it's sterling. It should have been. I think someone has uh, put a new um, clasp on this. This is older than what it seems. This is only 14 inches, but with the extender, it could be quite a bit longer. But for the beads alone, I'm gonna put 10 on it. And this is the rosary style with the head pin that, you know, the double head pin that doesn't, have, yeah, or wire or whatever you want to use. You put the wire through, cut it on either side, bend it to a circle and attach it to the next. So this could be extended or this could be um, an extender could be put on it. But I'm up at 10 and it's worth more than that. Okay, we're getting down to the very bottom. Hmm. This is cool. Alrighty then. This is neat. This is very regal looking. Look at that. I think it needs wiped. There is no make or mark on it that I can see. Yeah, the back's in great shape. It, I mean, it looks like somebody, yeah, really made a nice piece here. Um, kind of baguettes and um, bigger stones. 
huge, what is that called? What kind of chain? Mariner chain? I can't remember. But yeah, it needs wiped. But it is a beauty. Let's see how long it is. I know it's not long. Um, yeah, it's about, with the extender, it's almost um, 15. Without the extender, it is 13. But I tell you what, let me see if I can wipe it a little bit here. Hold on. See what it does. We're at a minute and 15. I mean, an hour, <laughs> an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, that's cleaning up very nicely. Bet you this hasn't been worn or cleaned or touched in a while. Yeah, that's shining up. If I had a wet wipe, it'd probably be fabulous. So I'm going to put eight on that one. Very nice. Um, this is one of those really pretty ones. This has kind of got AB iridescent green beads. This is pretty. Now, if this is sticking out too much, all you have to do is like push it down. That's gorgeous. So I'll put three on that one. Very nice. Almost done, guys. Almost done. Okay, we've got a cup of cake. That is cute. It's in good shape, but this chain is not. So for the cup of cake, it is so cute. I'll do three dollars on this. The chain is hoard. Um but I'll leave it on there so we don't lose it. But that's a nice little pendant or a little charm. Very silver tone and nice. Very nice. Okay. Well, those are glass. Oh, man. I bet you the other one's not there. You nab it. Ooh, this is different. What is this? That is ice cold. I think that's that stone that supposedly looks like turquoise. Let me see here. These are pretty. It's got a toggle here. Let me see if my rock apple, see what it says. Okay, give me two seconds here. See what it says. I think those are faux. Huh, it says it's turquoise. But there is another stone. Let's try it one more time. Let's see what it says. Yeah, it's saying turquoise group. So this might be a hunk of turquoise. It's definitely a stone. These are not. These are faux, but it does have some glass in there. Hold on here. But look at that big hunk. It's got some really pretty beads. These are all on a kind of a more of a green. Tone. But the toggle, this is a longer piece. This is an older piece, I think. Um, it is almost 17 inches. It's, it's right at 16, 16 and a half. So let's put eight on this. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Looks like greenish sea glass, frosted sea glass right there. Like I said, we're almost done. This has um, kind of the brass on the inside. The outside looks like petrified wood. It is gorgeous. It is. It is really pretty. So let me give 
the measurement real quick here. It goes to about seven and a half. I'm gonna try to show you these pieces. Look at that. They're just inlaid. Very nice. So let's do six on this one. This is beautiful. Yeah, I don't have any any problems with this box. This is nice. It's been a good box. There's not a bunch of crap in the bottom. Now, I don't know about this one. I haven't... Well, I'll be... I think everything's on it. It has a maker mark that's a flower. Huh. Yeah, it's a flower. <coughs> Excuse me. It's medicine time for me. Um, the extender's a little icky, but it's a nice piece. So I'll put $3 on this. It's cute. And it is about 15 inches. It's very cute. Okay. And it's almost done. This has no marks that I see, but it's very pretty. It's a mesh um, bangle. It's not sterling or anything. It's not marked, but it's pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's bigger. Goes on my hand very easily. Let's do a measurement on this one. This one is right around eight inches. You just have to get it over your hand. So I'm up at five on this. It's in fabulous shape. Pretty. Okay. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Let's see if I can find something for these ear. Oh, this is a, I'm not sure what kind of rock this is, but it's a pendant. It's kind of cool. So let's do my rock app one more time and see what this is. Okay. Let's see what it says. It's not a hundred percent, but it's always pretty close. Zebra marble, and that's probably exactly right. That's why I was thinking in my head, it looks like marble. So someone has wrapped it. It's got a little bitty doodad there. And you know what? It's kind of cute. So let's put three on this. If you don't like the wrap, you can always cut it and take it off and start over again. There's the hole there, and the other hole is there. So we'll do $3. Okay. Um, earrings. These are cute. These are not sterling. There's those. Didn't find any more pears here. Oh, this is cute. Found another necklace. It has a maker mark. That is oh, it's Premier Design, guys, and it is really, really cute. Look at that! Oh my goodness! Wow, a kind of a Rolo, or it is a Rolo chain. It's in nice condition. These colors are just gorgeous. Make sure all the crystals are, yes. This is like baguettes, different colors. Very pretty. I think it might have one missing, but you can't really even tell. So let's put $4 on that because it's got the one missing, um, I think. Yep. Yeah but you can't tell, it's just really pretty. 
and it is 16 inches. So let's put four on that, Premier Design, which is a little bit missing right there on the corner. Okay. These are darling. These are just little drops. And put four on these. These are cool. These could mimic sterling big time. They are not sterling. But they are four dollars for this pair. Um, let's see. Down at the little tiny nitty gritty. These are different. Those don't match. But you know what? This was a good box. It really was. It says love and peace. Live your life. It's got a little bit of wear to it. But it's cute. Hmm. I don't know how this is supposed to be going. And this is AEO again. And it does have some wear, believe it or not. AEO. Come on. Go back to the slide. Uh, it's like tangled, guys. Hold on. I don't know. What it's supposed to be doing here. Maybe it is supposed to be. I don't know. I'm going to show it to you, but it's kind of messed up. I might have to work on it. AEO. Set it over to the side. These are all odds and ends. This is a little brooch, but it's missing the bottom part of it. That was pretty, but it's missing its other one. There's that. That's missing that side of the brass. Anything else in there? No. Well, I don't think it was bad pieces at all. I wish I could have found this. And this one. Dang it. Makes me mad. Oh, this is a little stretchy with a cat. Or an owl. Oh. Cute. Little stretchy beads. That's a freebie if anybody wants it. I'm almost done. This was a fun bag, guys. I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff in the bottom. That is so wild. Okay. Very nice. They put these in the bag so they wouldn't catch on everything. This is pretty. This is really pretty. This has not got a mark on it, but it's the triple strand. It is really nice. This is our last piece. Very nice silver tone. And it is, this is a no-no. Get out of there. Look at that. This is really pretty. You've got um, kind of plastic beads on it, but boy, they are gorgeous. Seed beads and little beads and silver tone beads. Little silver tone filigree beads there. So we'll put, um, let's put five on this one. That's nice. Oh, we've got this little guy too. It's the last one. This one is about 19 inches at the longest. 18, 19 inches. Very pretty. So we're going to put five on that one. Then we've got this one here. It's got kind of AB little beads. It's just kind of a um, uh, like a rosary style little piece here. We'll just put three on that. The little, it's not very long. It is right at 16 inches, or 15 probably is more like it. Okay? I'll set that over there. Okay, guys, that was a fun box. I don't know if that'll ever happen again. I'll put all my single earrings down in my box. 
If anybody's ever interested in silver earrings, I mean silver, single earrings, I actually have a, um, it's my dog's treat. I have a container. I think it's almost full of single earrings. So it's huge. I chip it to you in a, um, what do you call it? On this postal box, everything is the same price. No matter the weight, we do it that way. But, um, yeah, I definitely got some single earrings for someone that does crafting or anything like that. Just give me a holler. Um, my email is moniquesjewels2 at gmail.com. My Instagram is moniquesjewels1. Or Monique's Jewels is my username or whatever they call it. My name. Um, if I see people start coming to it, I'll try to figure out how to... I don't know if you can put videos on or during... I just don't know. See if I can um, download some videos. Like if I do a video on here for YouTube, maybe I can put it on Instagram. I don't know. Maybe it's nothing but pictures guys will have to help me out but anyway i'm getting off here it's an hour and 31 minutes the winner of the giveaway was announced in the middle of the video or the first third of the video and it was christina so christina give me an email and we will get off of here and see you guys tomorrow have a great night uh, stay well and stay blessed. Thanks again, guys.